Ah, chicken face. Now that's always a good way to start an episode. Welcome back. I am Branking. And he doesn't have a tongue anymore because I ripped it out. I'm focused. I'm so heavily focused on not doing what I just did. <coughs> you, okay. did that, you did that one trick before, too. I, I, yeah, that time really surprised me. <laughs> okay, I want... I, oh, I don't have the right weapon for this. No, you know. Now you do. That bird just went up for some reason. <laughs> I know it's a bird, but it's generally got. <laughs> I like the way you jump backwards there, you're like, Whoa! Not a fire! Damn good, damn it. Stop, stop being fire. Come stop. on, stop. I'm, I'm just stuck. I'm just stuck. Oh, that feels better. <laughs> you cr cracked my spine there. Cracked it in half. Hey, oh yeah, the blue one's give tan, I forgot. Look, 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 you got this, you got this. Yeah! No, a boss! No. no. Oh. Oh, it's a new level though. Yeah. Thank oh, goodness. this music's good. I like this song. That guy's I, I love that I love that guy just like running at you. It's like, <laughs> like I've got one technique, this is this doesn't work, then nothing will work. Oh, oh I remember these ball oh we probably spot things all the other game. Actually all these enemies were fought before. Hey, we remember when we did this <laughs> That's kinda cool. <laughs> oh no 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 no. I remember we did this before when you spent like 30 lives trying to Glitch the game over so you could jump over that one block that was placed like that. And it took like an hour to do it, and then I just went under it and took the regular platform. And it blew your mind. You remember that? Not not very well, but I'm sure it happened. I believe you and trust you and think that you're a wonderful person. Alright. Look, it's the boss from the first game. That's the main bad guy, right? That's Jack Wheel. Yes, there's the Jack Wheel right there. He's got a hunch just like ours. Yeah, it's Paul Jack Wheel. <laughs> Paul Jack Wheel. It's like, I am the Jack Wheel. My first name is Paul. <laughs> I am Ashtar. My first name is Rodriguez. Rodriguez is normally a surname, I know. <laughs> to be fair, my also last name is also Ashtar. There's nothing terribly conventional about me. Also, I have weird eyes and horns, I think. I, I love that there's no point to ladders in this. It's just like, you can climb anything. Ooh, Ooh. this is just neat looking. Isn't it? Uh, Look, it the... actually looks like, a, like a, an environment, not just a level. Just stuff I love I love little hopping pans. Yeah. Okay, that was good that I'm glad that I did that. <laughs> oh, those guys are from the first game. They are they're not not fun to fight. No, no, I like this level less. Look, here I'm... we go. Oh, darn it. What? Darn it like darn it. I was hoping that they that my ninja would be close enough to stab. No, oh, you could have thrown his skull and wasted it. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, you won't be able to do that again. It's too bad because I really like that. Wait, what are you talking about? You're holding onto the edge there? Oh yeah, and that little tiny bit of edge. Yeah, <laughs> stupid. Yeah, see this, I, I knew this was gonna happen. <sighs> oh boy, okay. There's a lot of these guys. They don't seem uh, terribly interested in actually doing anything. This weapon, I think, is like... I, I, I'm pretty sure that's just a beaver. I'm pretty sure it's just a beaver. <laughs> I think like, you just killed a beaver, Blake. For like no reason. Are you part of the Canadian food trade? Am I going to have to study you for multiple years across my life? There's something that only Canadians could have possibly be hey even guys, remotely interested in. No, not even. We just have to learn it. Could possibly be. It's like, basically... Wait, hey, secret area. Yeah, your arm just falls off. It's very <laughs> secret. The food trade is basically Canada's equivalent of like the Civil War, American Civil War, um, the Revolution, and like the Tea Party. Yeah, it's, it's our it's our acknowledgement that nothing interesting has ever happened in Canada. Yeah, and, and that includes Mike Myers. Yeah. <laughs> and we had Tom Green and Jim Carrey. That's interesting. Not necessarily good, but interesting. Oh, it's sorry. I was trying to push up, and it wasn't working for me for some reason. It was a bit scary. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna beat the boss. That's just my my theory. You probably take that guy with your power. I think you just drop down and slash him. He'll face the right way and do it. Yeah, you know what? There's so many different things. <laughs> Let's consider all the things. Oh, hey, oh those guys! Axe thrower guys. Axe like, pumpkin man. Pump pumpkin head axe man. Pumpkin head, yeah. Except he's not throwing the axes. No, he's just holding. Going. Hey, look at what I got, guys! <laughs> I found this. <laughs> I just. Found
this is a different level. It won't start us at, it doesn't start us at far. Uh, that, 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 that beginning of the world, it doesn't. Let us start off with, with being able to pronounce any words correctly. I don't believe in words. I think they're just sounds that are trying to force me into following their loose yes, fascist design. Brandon. Words are just regimented sounds that we use to communicate. Very Fascism! good! Fascism! <laughs> Your understanding of semiotics is finally complete. Hey guys! Hey! I finally worked it out! Words are things you say to communicate! And that's why academic language is contrary to the existence of the very sounds they use. I'm just gonna die then you Because conversations are obfuscated with complex language. Really, we should be speaking in simple language. For instance... <laughs> I wanted to join in with your bit there, but I found your very strange, uh, <laughs> breathy voice to be too distressing. That was too distressing. I could, I can't live in your world of, of uh, your, your, your utopian civilization of communication. See, the trick, basically, like, is to just open your mouth and go... <laughs> <laughs> And then people determine what you're saying, and then determine if it has any value or not. Yeah, which it never does. No, because people are just assholes. People- But then, to be fair, their response is always- <sighs> And then you can read that as what you said was very delightful. Now we're going to do the rest of our thing as two comedians from the universe that Brendan just described. Can I have another chance of- Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has been embarrassing. No, no, no. And I'll, painful. I'll, I, I gave up. Oh, I fell. <laughs> <laughs> um. <gasps> <laughs> you know, it doesn't really work when we're such terrible physical actors. <laughs> Pretend that punch was really convincing. Okay. Oh! Actually, it really hurt. Oh. <laughs> I uh, I'm gonna get hit by something. Oh no, I didn't. They were going in two opposite directions than I thought they were. Hey! Why didn't you grab the thingy? You don't need to worry about that, just, just get past it and you'll be fine. I wanted to do it. <laughs> Yay, you got Samus back. This is a pretty cool power-up. Can I just say, like, I don't know if there's any other game that, like, uses this exact power-up thing. No, I can't think of any. I mean, except for, like, um, uh, space shooter games. Yeah, um, it's, basically an op it's basically an option. Yeah. Which this game is a bit, um... Option. Bullet hell. Option! This game is a little bit like a platform or bullet hell, in some ways. It, it gets that way. Yeah. You know, what's, you, know, so you know what's embarrassing about this portion here? The water, it actually goes in two different directions. So here, it goes back. Here goes the other way! Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez! Oh, wait, I'm stuck! Uh, and it also... Oh, what? Hang on. There's, there's, there's some stuff janking me around here. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Whoa! I, I can't complete any thoughts. What? I didn't mean to go back up here. I didn't know you could go back up. <laughs> There is something new. You learn something new every. God damn it! <laughs> you learn something new every god damn it. That is true. Every god damn it, I do learn something new. Stop! Ah, oh, you can. You got everything. Stop it. now. What's that sound? Every. Your hands, hands are getting too stinky. Right? <laughs> the controller is like, I don't know if I want to be around this guy anymore. This is killing fast though. I said, the uh, the controller doesn't like you. Ah. Yeah, the controller is acting kind of weird for me too. It is good, isn't it? I think it's because of all of our stank. Our stank ass. Oh, that's, that's about as low as you can jump. I realized that there's a specific spot. That that kind of, that jump though, right at the bottom there, where it has, is kind of like a game glitch. Gl glitch. It's kind of, ga of a game glitch type uh, type jump. It just happens to be what they want you to do. It's one of those jumps where you're like, I'm not supposed to do this, but I'll do it anyway. And then in the, in the sequel, i.e. this one. They go, well, let's make that work for us. Yeah. I should have died there. That was embarrassing. My family's gonna be shamed now. Are you, are you shamed? Sure? You're my family, are you shamed? Yep, yeah, pretty okay. much. Why am I so bad all of a sudden? You know, in, um, you know, it's now traditional whenever somebody says you shamed your family for some Japanese guy to walk in and cook my car, um, uh, Hari Kari? Really? That's. That's what happens a lot. Um, <laughs> I don't know about you, but every time I shame my family, some Japanese guy comes in. And goes what? Boom. I just fell off. I did not push the jump button. <laughs> I he was like, I think I think we use suicidal now. <laughs> oh no! I shamed my family, so a Japanese guy committed. <laughs> ah, full circle, guys. Um, instead of like a half circle. Yeah, really. 
Um, you, you, you completed an arc. Alright. Um, but you notice know, you how it's traditional for like a, uh, a, a Japanese. Yes, yes, uh, yes go ahead. Go ahead. You have Shinda, your family. Now, you must follow the way with the blade. Wouldn't it be great if that happened in like all kinds of situations? Like you like. I don't know, you, you ask a girl out, and then it's like, she says, mm, not really, I do have a boyfriend, and then some Japanese kid just walks up to you out of nowhere and goes, you have a gem to your family, now you must, you go the way of the blade, and you're like, um, really, I was, I, I was kind of interested in that girl, but I don't know if it's, really you must kill yourself, <laughs> alright, and that's how they keep Japanese population down, actually, suicide rates quite high in Japan, maybe yeah. that's why, yeah. maybe there's some guy just walk, walking in, somebody's like, I wish I had a Japanese friend who I could hire to do that full time, just to, walk, just to walk in and, and tell you you've shamed your family and then that you should you, you need to end your life? Just to random people. Oh, two random people. Yeah. His job was walking around and then whenever something embarrassing happens to somebody else, he would walk up and tell them to kill themselves. To be fair, I think that's just what you Twitter just is for. You sat in your room eating beef jerky for a week. Now you must do the way of the blade. <laughs> oh you man, I hate Samurai Showdown. I will play Samurai Showdown. <laughs> that was just a really dumb name for a game, can I say that? What, Samurai Showdown? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's not as good as The Price is Right. No. <laughs> Price is Right's a pretty good name for a game. It describes everything going on. It you know, describes the content and the form and everything. Yeah. It, it, you can just imagine like the, the pitch where they're like, what's the name, what's the name of your uh, show going to be? Well, it, uh, I don't really know, but it's all about trying to get the right price. And they're like, oh. Uh, family Feud? No, that one's taken. Oh, damn it. We're... Uh, Hitler's Motorcade? No, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Hitler's Motorcade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a uh, it's a game show, oh darn, where you have to guess the uh, what license plates mean. Like, you know what license plates? They have yeah. those funny names. Yeah, then we're going to call it Hitler's Motorcade. <laughs> we're like, won't that anger people? No, no, it's just a game about license plates. <laughs> I don't see anyone getting angry about license plates. License plates are not a big deal, guys. And, and yeah, and whenever you know you have a, whenever you have a, uh, you think you have the right answer, you just have to hit a button that's up here. Yeah. So you just have to go oh, come hell. That's right. And then, actually, you know, maybe we could do a new show. I just had an idea for one right now. Yeah. Uh, there could be like, uh, the idea is, and this might be a difficult pitch for some people. Right. But but I'm the star. Oh yeah, um, I won't have trouble with this. And um. I feel like I fell down like someone just pooped uh, me I am the reincarnation of Adolf Hitler, okay? Alright. Uh, who's been brought back to life to raise the Nazis. And his next door neighbor, though, no, his love interest is a Jewish girl. He this is just Hail Honey, I'm Home. Hail Honey. Hail Honey. Hail Honey. Hail Honey. Hail Honey. Hello, I'm, I'm home. <laughs> he, here. Uh, he falls in love with a, with a Jewish girl, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and so he so he's learns to not hate the Jews. And then throughout this, the, the big twist, and I want to give this away too early on, but the big twist at the end of season one, the season one arc, is it turns out that she's actually uh, going to go back in time. He impregnates her. She goes back in time and gives birth to Hitler. Ah. See. Now, now that I think about it, giving away the big season one twist is probably not a good idea. No, you definitely don't want to do that in the pitch. But you know what you do want to do that on? Brothers. I'm really going to end with a very awkward joke about a 